the embryoscope is a very specialized piece of equipment which is like an incubator in which we grow embryos but it has the added advantage of providing time-lapse photography of the various stages of embryo development. And we are then able to follow these embryos daily without having to remove the Petri dish from the incubator, not exposing them to other light, to changes in temperature, to changes in gaseous environment. And on the basis of that, we mimic the normal development. We now understand that human embryos need to look a certain way at a very specific time. And if they do not look that way, they are unlikely to be normal. So for the first time, we have the ability to look at the Cerny loop and choose the exact embryos that we would like to transfer. And those embryos should ostensibly be normal because they developed according to an absolute normal timeline. So it is very different to where we take out embryos on a daily basis in our normal previous veg top incubators. By leaving them in the embryoscope, we know they go in on day one and they really are only taken out again on day five. So they are in a stable milieu, which means nothing changes, everything is stable, and therefore it can only be to the benefit of the embryo during its development. By monitoring these embryos with the intensity and frequency that we do, would increase the potential pregnancy rates by 15 to 20 percent. For patients who've got lots of embryos, there you can really make a big difference in enabling you to choose the better quality embryos and give the patient the better chance at falling pregnant. I believe now with the knowledge that we have and the early experience that we have with the embryoscopes that no patient's embryos should not be grown in the embryoscope. All embryos should be grown in the embryoscope.